Hello everyone, my name is Serenax and in today's video I'm just showing you a really useful software by the name of iMyPhone that you can use for your iOS devices. So in today's video I'll be just showing you how you can load a backup onto your phone via the software by the name of iMyPhone. So this is how the software looks like, you have the link in the description to download this. I will just offer you like the free full versions of the software for completely free. You just need to write a comment that you really want to get this program and, and I will just pick like three people from the comment section that really want the program to use. So yeah, with that said, let's just proceed to this video. Let me just show you how to recover the data on your device. Once you get to this page, this is how the program looks like. The company iMyPhone has also different products such as, such as the Any Recoverer and FixPo and Tunes Fix. So if you're interested in these products, you can actually download them from this website as well as the debug software. So with that said, let's just go and get the debug software. So this is the first thing that you see once you open up the software. Let me just cross thing. And now we have like these five different options that you can recover your data. Yeah, now let me just connect my iPhone into the computer because we want to make sure that the software has the access to the device. So I will just use my USB. Let's go. As you can see, it's connected. Let's just go to the second tab which says recover from iOS device. So here you just need to make sure that your device is just trusting the computer. As you can see, let's click on next. And now the software has the access to all of the data on this phone. Uh, we're getting access to messages, call history, contacts, and also the WhatsApp, WeChat, which are the third party apps. So if you're interested in doing and recovering data from the third party apps such as WhatsApp and Viber, you can definitely use this software. Mm, we also have something like photos and videos and the other stuff. It also includes the Safari history, so which means that if you want to recover the data from the Safari history, you can definitely do so. And yeah, now let me just scan this device for all of the data. And we're gonna see what we can do with this. Now the software is just analyzing the data and making sure that it sees all of this. After it's done, we get a full access to what's on our phone. And since I don't have a lot of things on this phone, um, I don't have many data that we can actually use here but if you have some messages you can definitely get some messages hexed by using the software so it's just really useful in my opinion you also have some messages attachments as you can see call history we got the phone number of the person that has been calling us and we also have the incoming and ongoing type here and the time that we have spent with them we also have contacts and when it comes to third party apps you have your the whatsapp whatsapp attachments just the same thing what's going on with the messages so same information goes with the viber and and here you also have the access to the other apps such as uh, kick line everything is here so it's just really to the point you can just recover the variety of data whether it's just a text message whether it's just a single photo as you can see here my photos uh, we also got some videos we also even have the safari history so if you want to recover the history of your safari you can actually do this with the software now everything is just in the app so it's just sort of a condensed itunes software that you can use for your iPhone you know it's just not that simple to recover the data by using iTunes but with the iMyPhone debug it's just really self-explanatory and everyone should be able to get their data on their computer now let's click on recover and it's just asking me where to recover the files I can just choose the location that I want my backup to be settled in on my computer on my hard drive so uh, as you can see, here are my backups. Let's, let's click on the recover. And it's done. As you can see, it has created a new backup folder. Now we got the next option, which is recover from iTunes backup. Let's say you have done a backup and you want to load it on your device. You can 
select this option and load this trading into your device uh, you select your device a certain backup a certain things that you want to be loaded on your new device and yeah let's just click on scan it's just scanning it let's just wait a couple of seconds and it should get it done now you click on recover recover and you got it the same thing is available with iCloud so if you have a backup saved on iCloud you can just go into your iCloud here is your login information and yeah here's your backup And if your device is just not working properly, you can use this fix iOS system feature. So the first option is just the standard mode. As you can see, it works like this. Everyone should be able to do so. It's just really simple. It shows you step by step what you should do in order to get this standard mode to work and to make your phone work properly again. We also got the enter and exit recovery mode that you can click and enter or exit recovery mode without any operations on your device just by one click and we also have the advanced mode if there's a big problem with your device when it comes to software things you just plug it in and the program should get a fix in a really simple way so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video on how to recover your data on your ios device it's just really simple by using this I my phone debug software and yeah what else can I say like if you like it subs if you love it and see you in the next video see you guys